Hello everybody, welcome to another Calm Game Review. Today we're going to talk about Metroid 2. Um, and by the way, just so you know, the reason why I'm not going to talk about Metroid um, Prime, it actually is Metroid Prime 2, by the way, but we'll talk about Metroid um, Prime Hunters eventually. But anyway, this game... Uh, Samus finds this record, okay, and when it finds out that um, some of the Federation forces have been have been seen on a desolate planet, and this desolate planet is basically so she goes to the planet. And she finds out that these Federation soldiers are being turned into zombies by some force. Which you don't know until like later on in the game. Until you get to a certain point. So, the main gimmick of this game is there is a light world and a dark world. The light world, you just go around trying to I'll find it, and it's just a basic, you know, basic Metroid game. But in the Dark World, or the Phazon World, as they like to call it, um, it will drain your energy slowly. Take me this energy crystals. So, you probably wonder, okay, so what's the idea behind this game? Why does Samus lose her powers in this game? Well, apparently, remember Metroid Prime from the first game? He's back. And he's in a different form. In the form of Dark Samus. Now, Dark Samus is a little bit different from the SAX. Because he's more or less an actual copy. And she basically sends her, her minions and out, out these little monsters to steal all your powers. So now you have to fight these bosses in order to get them back. The worst boss of the game goes to the spider ball guardian. Oh gosh that spider ball guardian is annoying. He it's, it's so stupid. And towards the end, you fight the big bad guy, and then Samus, Dark Samus. Um, we do get some new power ups too. The light, um, cannon, which allows you to use light ammo, which you can find everywhere, and then you got the dark cannon, which allows you to shoot dark things. Now the light cannon allows you to shoot crystals to make them more powerful, or if you're right next to a um, one of those little balls of light, you can make it last a little longer. Anyway, oh by the way, at the end of the game, you do have a timer, and you have to face Dark Samus at the end while the time is going. So. You basically have a have a time going on while you're trying to face her. Anyway, next time we're gonna talk about one of my favorite games, and then I promise you we will talk about Metroid Prime Hunters, which of course is Metroid Prime Three. Um, that echoes, but uh, I'm gonna name the game, but. It's pretty good. I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys on the next video.